As I remember, the theoretical foundation was very, very important. Can you um, share with us some of the theories that we used to build this particular study? I had uh, studied in Europe at the University of Bonn with uh, Hans Thurmey and Ursula Lehr, and those were the primary investigator of a very uh, noteworthy longitudinal study on aging that was conducted in Europe. And uh, at that time, uh, Hans Thurmey and Ursula Lehr were looking at the survivors in the study. They were interested to know um, who are the people that have stayed with their longitudinal study that they had conducted over 20 years um, and uh, who are the ones who were still in the study and how are they different from the people who did not survive. Um, and it was at that time in the 1980s that they developed a uh, survivorship model um, that would, uh, or longevity model, uh, which we used as the starting point for our discussions of what is important to look at when we consider survivors and people who live for a long time. Now these were not centenarians, but these are people who moved from their 60s and 70s to their 80s and 90s. And since there were very few centenarian studies at that time and very few had theoretical models, we thought that would be a good starting point. So we started with the uh, Bond longitudinal uh, longevity model and uh, developed it a little bit further for our purposes. Perhaps what we could do is to, to talk about the so-called direct influence to the adaptation outcome or the indirect uh, influences. So we could talk about the different clusters of measures or constructs that we had. We can talk about these maybe three or four clusters and why we picked these things in, in order to study so-called adaptation. Yeah. Well, the, these different components uh, of uh, environmental support, individual characteristics, adaptational characteristics, uh, came from other studies. Uh, they had done uh, basically uh, uh, longitudinal follow-ups in longitudinal studies, the Duke Longitudinal Study on Aging, the Bonn study in Germany. So we essentially merged the traditions from Bonn and Duke uh, models that we had uh, to incorporate these two aspects. One, uh, aspects of longevity and survivorship, but then two, and perhaps for our purposes more important, uh, what uh, predicts whether these survivors are in relatively good health or not so good health, what their mental health is like, what the supports and the resources are that are necessary to surviving to very old age.